it's going to be hard no matter what. If you're just starting anything, any business, the first year or two are always hard. So you might as well start now when it's hard for everybody. You'll feel a little less alone. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, any business you start, it's going to be hard. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. It's always something, but like I said, 2020, man, one for the books. Listen, 2010 was a weird year too, right? Coming yeah. off of a brutal 2009 and a really funky 2008. I think we all thought 2020 was going to be this amazing launch pad of a year for the next decade. Mm. And I think fate had different ideas in store for us, but it's okay. Where, uh, where could we possibly go from here? We don't, no, don't go up, down. Man. Like nowhere but up. There's nowhere but up, right? And the human <laughs> nature and human nurture is to drive us up. Like people want more. That's why. That's why. The, that's why there's so many of us, right? That's why there's soon to be eight billion of us. Because why have one baby and if you can have two? Why have one job if I can have two? Why have one car if I can have two? Why have one house if I can have two? Like that's it's evolution to keep us to keep us around so that the human race will survive. Right, that's it's, it's it's ingrained in our DNA, and so when bad things happen, we get nervous and we push back. Right, we're like a porcupine. We put out our needles. We're like, oh, we don't know what's happening. We'll fight, and then when things are okay, needles go back. Look at our beautiful gray hair. Wow. We're gorgeous. We're going out to a party. Let's go, 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 go before he gets that house because screw that guy. Right, it's nuts. It's crazy. It is. It is. It's like down here we have hurricanes and they blow they blow a house down, and then. <laughs> It's like it never happened. They built a house right back. <laughs> you know, it's like eight years later, hurricane blows it away. What did you expect? You know? Yeah, it's, uh, yes. I remember Hurricane Sandy hitting New York City and flooding a good chunk of New York City. And then I remember three months later, walking around with buyers and they're like, why is everything so wet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I need a home. I, I got to go to work. It's like, the short-term memory of, of human beings is 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 pretty wild, and it's good in our business, you know. It's good yeah, in our business. yeah. But then they build those houses stronger, right? We all our new developments that we do now south of 42nd Street are built, you know, to withstand a future hurricane or a flood. Generators aren't in basements anymore; they're now on higher floors, right? Mechanicals aren't on low floors; they're now on higher floors, so on and so forth. Um, so with every with every accident and every pandemic and every everything we learn from it and we adapt right you kind of got to do it yeah i'm in a concrete poured in place concrete house myself i'm ready for a hurricane but uh yeah like around here people are going to the beach showing properties like hanging out like corona is not even around i'm looking at people like are you guys kidding me like this thing is still here i got a seven month old too yeah. and uh you know as a baby She's great. She just smiles and laughs. You look at her, she starts laughing, and you're like, "What I do? You know, yeah. Like I didn't do anything funny." She, she's. Wonderful. I look at you and I start laughing all the time. And I see her <laughs> face and I'm like, "Ha ha!" <laughs> For no reason. Yeah. Well, uh, man, I think right now is an incredible time, really, it's for a new agent to start. Like you said, you can't go anywhere but up. Yeah, man. I uh, I did a vlog. If you go to my YouTube page, I did a vlog. On it. Maybe it was a month ago. It's called Just Start. Um, check it out. I think it's one of the best ones we've ever done, uh, where it's about how, you know, I got into this business the day Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. I had no money by myself. The world had fallen apart. Who in their right mind gets in the real estate brokerage business the day the housing market collapses? Um, except for me. Uh, and now, like, who in their right mind gets into business now, except for everyone who's actually really smart about it? I think there's gonna be amazing businesses that come out of this. I think people are gonna now need homes more than ever. And if you think about it, depending on your county, your city, your town, your state, at some point in time, most Americans were under quarantine for, for some period of time, okay? Maybe not three months like New York City, but some point in time. During that period, I mean, it was a massive PR campaign every day on the news for the quality of a house, right? Like, what better way to show somebody the value of a brand new home with an extra bedroom than by locking them in their current crappy one. <laughs> like, yeah. 
there's great opportunity out of that. You know, yeah. there's, and there's gonna be, there's gonna be sellers in tough positions and we need to be scooping in and helping out those sellers and bringing in our investors and bringing in cash buyers and taking advantage of people that wanna move out. If you're in urban areas um, and you got people that wanna move out and you should be handling those rentals too. And I talked to a lot of agents who are like, yeah, well, people wanna leave. You know, I, I'm in downtown Chicago, but you know, they don't know if they wanna sell or not. I don't know what to do. I'm like, so rent them, help them rent. Do rentals for the next four months and just crush them. You know, you you can't be above any type of work and then you'll get those listings as the sales, you know? So yeah. there's there's a lot of different opportunity right now. Um, and if you're just starting, it's gonna be hard no matter what. If you're just starting anything, any business, the first year or two are always hard. So you might as well start now when it's hard for everybody. You'll feel a little less alone. Oh uh, yeah. Now, any business you start, it's going to be hard. You're going to have to put in work. Most people don't make a million dollars in three months, so they, they quit and try something else. 